This is why I don't like CPT. It is impossible to find what you need. On this episode of Coding with Kate, we are going to be doing a hybrid of dissecting an app report and then coding it in CPT. But I will note this process will go very quick, only because we don't have to fully dissect an app report to find the code in CPT. We just have to read through the app report to make sure that what was listed as the procedure performed is indeed what happened. In the text of the procedure written down. We just have to make sure it's the same thing and then verbatim we can take the procedure name, find it in the CPT code book, and then we're done. So depending on how long this process takes, we may attempt it in PCS, pretending that it happened in an inpatient setting, but that is also a very easy one. So this will go nice and quick, I hope. Or I'll just ramble on and on and it'll take forever. Who knows? And also, I have in the description below a link to the AMP video we did yesterday on pyogenic granuloma because today we are going to be coding for the excision of a pyogenic granuloma. And I will also have in the description below a link to the weekly vlog where I explain the whole story of a pyogenic granuloma and why we're doing that this week. So check those out so you're up to date and let's get to it. Okay, so I had just filmed uh, using the CPT codebook to find the procedure in the op report that we also read and it didn't record! You didn't miss anything. Because as you can see, I started to have trouble and I couldn't find the procedure at all. I couldn't find it. So I'm going to read it again and then I'm going to walk through what I found, didn't find, etc. So the pre and post operative diagnosis are pyogenic granuloma, right knee. Operation performed incision and debridement of right knee pyogenic granuloma. So the indication of procedure, this is a however year old pleasant patient who had a total knee performed here several years ago and has done well. The patient has rheumatoid arthritis and unfortunately the rheumatoid arthritis has been very difficult to control. However, the patient has started to complain of some pain, swelling and redness anteromedially around the knee and a biopsy of the right knee done by the primary care physician revealed a pyogenic granuloma. The patient is now here for an open debridement and knee irrigation. The patient's knee exam is normal and there is no evidence that the knee is involved. So the description of the procedure. The patient was taken to the operating room. Blah blah blah. That's prepping her right lower extremity, etc. The patient's knee was then flexed over a knee roll and a straight midline incision was made utilizing the bottom distal third of the incision. Sharp dissection was made down to the capsule, but the capsule was not entered. The granuloma site was identified. There was some mild exudative material around the granuloma site, but really no discernible granuloma, granuloma or abscess. Curettes and rongures were used to debride this area, but the hip was not entered and the capsule was not invaded. I don't know how they got to the hip when we're talking about the knee. I'm going to assume that might be a mistake, a typo, because that doesn't make sense. The wound was then copiously irrigated with antibiotic pulsatile lavage and closed anatomically with the deep tissue, closed with the number one vicryl figure eight suture, blah blah blah, stitching her up, everything's fine. So, initially we thought, let's look for incision in the index. They gave knee capsule, but they did not enter the capsule, so we couldn't use that code. Then we tried debridement. Again, it gave explorative, 
etc. It had like fasciotomy, it had all these other things. Nothing what we saw, no. We looked for pyogenic granuloma, because you can also look for the condition if you can't find the procedure name. So that didn't give us anything. They don't have granuloma, they don't have pyogenic. You can also look for a body part. So we looked for knee and it didn't give us any option that worked for this. So we just tried debridement knee and we looked at the ones given, hoping that maybe that would work. None of those worked because they used all these other terms that never came up, like arthrotomy and all these other things that did not come up in our report. And we know that CPT likes to go verbatim with what the op report said, or what the operation performed name said. None of those fit the bill. But as I'm reading this, in the indication of procedure, they say the patient is now here for an open debridement and knee irrigation. So let's try looking for those. So we're going to look for open debridement and knee irrigation. So let's try debridement open. I don't remember seeing that, but we'll do it anyway. Debridement. They don't have open. They just go to the knee, which we've already done, and that doesn't work. So let's try just open. Maybe that has something. Open biopsy? No. Nope. So it's neither of these. Let's try irrigation. Maybe that'll give us part of the code. Irrigation. Bladder, bronchus, caloric vestibular test, catheter, corpora, cavernosa, eye, penis, peritoneal, shunt, sinus, ureter, vagina, venous access device, ventricular catheter, wrist. Irrigation did not help. So let's just go back to knee. Let's go back to the body part and see. Maybe I missed something. Now they said that an abscess wasn't really present. But let's try abscess. Maybe that'll give us something. Okay, knee abscess. Abscess, 27301. We know that they might have done a little bit of drainage. So let's look for drainage also. Maybe that'll give us something. 27310. Okay, let's try it out. 27301. So we are back to femur, thigh region, and knee joint under incision. In the video I thought I was recording, but did not record, we read through all of these and we were unsure of any of them because none of them sounded like what was in the op report. But either way, 27301, oh, incision and drainage, deep abscess, bursa, or hematoma, thigh, or knee region. That was the closest we came to it, but that isn't what they said word for word in the operation name. It says incision and debridement of right knee pyogenic granuloma. This just talks about incision and drainage of. It doesn't bring up anything about debridement. Well, that's a maybe. 27310. So the 27310 is arthrotomy, knee with exploration, drainage, or removal of foreign body, in parentheses, e.g. infection. But we know that a pyogenic granuloma is not an infection, so we can't do that one. Because I give up, I know this is going to be wrong. I'm going to send this off to the coders and see what they say, because I would truly like to know. We're going to go with 27301. Now, let's do it in PCS. Because I like PCS, it makes more sense. Okay, so the only tricky thing about this is we don't know the exact tissue depth because they say they went down to the capsule but they didn't enter it. So do you consider that muscle, tendon, subcutaneous tissue, and fascia? I'm not entirely sure. So pyogenic granuloma, that's excision. So we know it's going to be excision. We want to go to E-excision. 
excision, we know it's in the knee. For sure in the knee, not just the skin, in the knee. So, knee region, left or right, that one said right knee, I believe. Yes, right knee. Excision, knee region, right knee. O, Y, B, F. So we go to anatomical regions, lower extremities, chapter. Go to the excision table, which is B. So O, medical surgical, Y, anatomical regions, lower extremities, B, excision, and then F, knee region, right. Our approach, open, because... In the op report, they said a straight midline incision was made utilizing the bottom distal third of the incision. Sharp dissection was made down to the capsule, but the capsule was not entered. So they did their incision, opened it up. They could see all the way down there. They didn't use a scope to assist them, nothing. They opened it. They could see everything they were doing. And they could see the granuloma site open. Device Z, there were none. Qualifier, diagnostic or no qualifier. They already did the biopsy in a previous session, so they weren't sending anything to the lab, so we will put Z no qualifier. There. We have our code in PCS if this was done in an inpatient setting. For what they call incision and debridement of the knee, but in PCS, it's excision of the knee. That's what it is. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I will have to send the op report to the medical coders on the forums and I need their help because I can't find it in CPT. They will hopefully be able to help me with that, I hope. I will update you all if I get anything back. And I will continue to figure out what code that is in CPT. So you can subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this process of me failing with, excuse me, with CPT. But breezing through on PCS. If you enjoyed that, subscribe. And if you liked the topic, if you want to know more about ICD-10 PCS, ICD-10CM, A&P videos, or other CPT videos, subscribe so you're always in the know. You can comment below if you have any ideas of how I can find this code in CPT, or if you also find it frustrating that I couldn't find it. Let me know what you think. You can also like this video. I love that feedback. And I will see you all later. Bye!